the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and the left. I... Which means I have to be in a lockdown for the next, like, what, week or something? So in so the past, I've said multiple times how uh, Dr. Pepper improves your skill as a gamer. And not that many people seem to believe me, so I'm gonna prove them wrong. Okay. He also seems to be going for me, which is really stupid, because I have an advantage here. Like that. So 378 is what we're looking for, so... Park it about now... Uh, get those corners right, just like that. And our angle needs to be 50 yeah, around. So can I walk up the ridge? I can. Now I did not realize that, and now I can just grab. If you hit 1K before 2022, can you make applications to lifesteal SMP and join it? Well, I guess I ain't joining shit. Love seeing you going nuts over a lot. Oh. No way. I'm a fucking pigeon. <laughs> Bring down the house. Zeta's room. So there was this PDA. Okay, there's just some garbage. I'm not reading that. We got a cold suit fragment. Fuck yeah, I actually need that. I forgot I don't actually have the cold suit. I don't need to flash at all. Oh my god, go away, go away, go away, go away. He went to the right. He's not here, he's not here, he's not here. What? Well, somehow we've made it. It's 2023. Actually, already like a month into 2023, but that's besides the point. I feel like I want to do a video every year for the... I don't know how many years that I'm going to still be on this platform, at least. I want to do a video each year, kind of looking back on the year and seeing what actually happened. And make a conclusion if it was a good year or a bad year. I remember when I made my 2021 video, uh, I said in that video specifically that I did not think that 2022 was going to top 2021 for me. I do not think that 2022 is going to top 2021, at least for me. And to be totally honest with you, I don't think that 2022 did top 2021 because it's hard to top a year like 2021 was for me. And that's partially due to luck because basically everything important in my life well, actually almost everything, fell into one year. Because during 2021, first of all, it was the first year that my channel started doing like actually really well as a channel, but also everything in my personal life. For example, I graduated high school uh, in 2021, I got uh, into college, which, well, the fact that I got into college in itself is already pretty cool. Even if there have been some humps and bumps with my college experience, it's still a really important part, considering it is literally my future. <laughs> I also feel like I started being a lot more social in 2021, though so I developed myself a lot socially, so it was a really difficult year to top. However, I do think that 2022, as the title says, was a blessing in disguise because i will admit some absolutely terrible things have happened in uh 2022 like the fact that i almost got kicked out of my fucking house but at the same time i think that in 2022 i developed myself a lot more than i realize as a person and as an adult in 2022 i got into a relationship that i'm currently still in i also got a job that i'm currently still on and it's making me enough money to be able to well maybe not live off of individually but it's making me enough to get by put it that way so it definitely did develop me a lot as an adult but also just like my thought process and one big thing about 2022 that i think changed a lot in me is now that i'm an actual like full-grown adult well legally still have at fucking dick jokes but that's besides the point one thing about being an adult that i heavily dislike is the fact that i don't think that a day has gone by in the past several months where i have been able to not think about money for over 24 hours and it's a very small detail but it bothers me significantly i know that obviously money is an important thing to have in life i mean it is the key to you know being successful but at the same time even for someone like me who i mean i don't have that much money like i don't make that much i make like about a grand a month, of which I pay around, let's say, $400-ish towards, like, paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And then I put another, like, 200 maybe 300 into, like, daily expenses or just some other things I need to buy. So I'm not left with that much to spend on myself, but I'm satisfied with it. And obviously, whenever I make any kind of purchase, I always think to myself, okay, if I spend this money, how much will I have left? And is it enough to get me through the month so that I don't go, you know, absolutely broke? And it's working really well for me. The problem is that literally not a day can go by where I don't have to think about money. And it bothers me significantly because I fear for the future when, you know, I'm gonna have even more money. At least I really fucking hope so. To the point where I'm gonna have like an actual house to pay for. And money is gonna be on the back of my mind 24-7. That is something that I really fear. Now with that said, 2022, socially it's been... 
it's been a weird year because I did get in contact with a lot of new people this year that I'm still friends with right now and that I'm really grateful for. But that being said, this year was especially difficult for me because I had to go through a lot of personal problems, things about my own personality I had to work on because if I didn't, I would have risked losing friendships with other people and even losing my relationship almost. So it was a difficult thing to go through, but it was also not only that. Another thing that happened this year that I am really sad about, well actually more than sad, is the fact that two of well, what I used to call my best friends essentially turned their backs on me. I'm not gonna go into who they are and what exactly happened because I kind of want to keep that for myself, but it does bother me because they're both people that I was friends with ever since like late 2018, maybe early 2019. So I have been friends with them for many years and both of them were people that I would be able to come to for any kind of assistance that I needed with something, same as they would be able to come to me for anything they needed and I'll be there for them. And for them to turn their backs on me the way they fucking did not only does it piss me off but it also just hurts the soul such a big part of myself actually that's just been ripped away and that hurts like to be completely honest so yeah 2022 was i would say a balance here everything balanced everything balanced each other out some absolutely god awful things have happened this year but also some things have happened this year that will make my life in the future a lot lot better so yeah i do hope that you guys did enjoy this video and i do hope that you guys have an awesome 2023 will it be as great as 2021 i doubt it but hey you never know hope that you guys enjoyed and if you did please be sure to pop like below like a cool one subscribe down below to join the sarcastics and i will hopefully see you next time peace always do it on my own so i gotta get through it and the only thing i know is to love what i'm doing never give up never slow till i finally prove it never listen to the no's i just want to keep moving keep my head up when i act head up that's a fact never looking back i'ma keep myself on track keep my head up staying strong always moving on feel i don't